Hey guys, welcome back. So today in this video we're doing part 2 of the custom firmware iPhone 4 iCloud bypass. Uh, so in this video I'm basically covering the restore process. So uh, yeah, if you haven't seen part 1 then be sure to go and check the link in the description to know how to build your custom IPSW. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so the first stage is actually to downgrade iTunes. Now the latest version of iTunes will not allow you to restore custom firmwares on the iPhone 4. So we need to downgrade back to iTunes 11. So to do that, first of all, you want to go to uh, the search bar on the Mac and search for music. And go to your music folder and you're going to uh, basically delete, or sorry, rename your currently uh, named iTunes folder. So just rename it to something like that, Oreg. And uh, then you're going to go into terminal, type in the exact command I do, sudo rm-rf slash application slash iTunes dot app. And then click enter, it'll ask you for your password. Type in the password and that will delete the iTunes application from your computer. Alright, so once that's done, we need to download the iTunes 11 setup DMG. I'll leave a link in the description. So download that through Safari. And once it's finished, you want to click the DMG and basically just really quickly run through the setup process. So uh, that's finished downloading right there. Double click it to open it. It will open and verify it. And you can then click on the little blue, uh, little blue install iTunes box, and run through this setup process. Choose your install location, and it will require you to enter your password a couple of times. And you're probably going to get an error. Now this is normal, so it says right here the installation failed. Don't worry about that. So just go ahead and try to launch iTunes. Uh, sorry, re restart iTunes because the current, uh, the new version was still open. But restart, you know, if you get this error, this basically means you need to delete this file. Now, this is basically existing from the old version of iTunes, or what was the newer version. So, search for the music folder once again. Go back into your iTunes Oric folder, or, new, or sorry, your new iTunes folder, and delete iTunesLibrary.itl. Just drag that file to the trash, and now you should be able to open iTunes without any issues. So, as you can see there, it does open. You still get a couple error messages, but iTunes does actually work. Alright, so the next stage is now to prepare the iPhone for the restore. So in the link in the description, I'll have a link to download iRev, which basically puts your device into Pwn DFU mode. So first of all, connect your device to the computer in DFU mode. When the uh, iRev program detects it, it will begin to exploit with the LimeRain bootrom exploit, and this is one of the reasons you need to have an iPhone 4 to do this bypass. iTunes will also recognize that there's an iPhone in recovery mode, and uh, once, you, once it's finished, you guys can see right there, it does say... Uh, you are now able to restore a custom IPSW with iTunes. Alright, so you just want to close out of iReb, and iTunes will give you that alert one more time. And what you want to do now is click the Alt key and press Restore iPhone, and choose your custom-made IPSW from last video. So I've got mine right here. Open it, and click Restore, and iTunes will basically just extract the software and restore the iPhone to the custom-made IPSW, which doesn't have a setup.app. So there's actually a chance you'll run into some issues while trying to restore. Number one, uh, check that you are in Pwn DFU mode. If you're not, then you'll get an issue when trying to restore. Um, but second, you may need to stitch your custom IPSW with SHSH blobs. Now, I won't be showing you guys that in this video, but on screen now you can see a picture of Red Snow. Red Snow can do this, so uh, I recommend doing this on Windows because you may get an error on the Mac. But uh, search up another video on how to do that if you do get any issues. Alright, so once your phone has restored successfully, you should be booted straight into the Springboard because obviously the setup the app has been deleted. And uh, now you're pretty much left with the same result as in the SSH uh, bypass. So you have no setup the app, straight into Springboard, and you can basically use Wi Fi, but no cellular features of the device. So, one last thing I didn't mention is you can actually upgrade iTunes back to the latest version after you've done your restore. You simply repeat the process, but instead of using the iTunes 11 DMG, you use the iTunes for whatever latest version it is, and you can get it from uh, Apple.com. But um, yeah, so that is pretty much it. Uh, if you guys want to check out the SSH version of this bypass, then I'll leave a link in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.